Hello, and welcome to Cindy's Corner. Today, boys and girls, I've got a book that I know you're going to love because I kind of like it myself. Okay, and it's kind of special for me. Um, and you'll see why. And I'll just tell you, if you want your own copy of this, send me a message and I'll send you one. Or, and I'll autograph it to you. Uh-huh. That means it's from me. And, uh, or you can go on to Amazon and get your copy there and I'll have it in the information. It's Why Bears Hibernate All Winter. All Winter. Written by Tommy and Cindy Coleman. That's right. And our illustrator that we had is Faye Bonnick. Faye is an illustrator from Canada. All right, you ready? I know you can't go get it, so you can just follow along and, and, and enjoy the pictures and the story. Okay, because I'm going to ask you something special at the end and see if it tricks you. Of course, we love all things fun. All right, Why Bears Hibernate All Winter is our title page. It was written by Tommy and Cindy Coleman. The illustrator is Faye Bonnick. And here's our preface. This book was derived from an old Cherokee legend that has been passed down for many generations. And a Cherokee is a type of Indian. Both Tommy and I are Cherokees. As much of the native language, culture, and legends are being lost, we thought it was important to retell this legend in a fun and entertaining manner so children could retain the storyline while being entertained. The fun factor and lessons learned from such stories can be shared. On a cold and snow day, Bear came out to strut and play. As he was strutting through the snow, he thought to himself, I am the biggest animal I know. Bear was very proud and he loved to boast extremely loud. He walked to the top of the hill and stood on his hind legs so he could tell would be so he would be tall and then he began to call. I'm the biggest animal in the forest. If you disagree, then say so to me. Nobody said a word. Bear was really big. As Bear stood there, he started to twitch, twitch because his back had an itch. He backed up to a tree and started to scratch. He scratched so hard, he broke a branch. Well, you know Bear loved to brag. He had just broken a tree. It was now only a snag. If he did not take long, or it did not take long, Bear declared to the forest that he was extremely strong. 
Bear stuck out his chest and roared. I'm the strongest animal in the forest. If you would disagree, then say so to me. Nobody said a word. Bear was really strong. I'm looking. Bear started running down the hill. As the hill became steeper, he ran faster still. Bear was so impressed with his pace, he thought to himself that he could win any race. When Bear hit the brakes, he skidded to a stop right next to a frozen lake. Once again, Bear stood up and called out to the other animals. I'm the fastest animal in the forest. If you disagree, then say so to me. This time, Bear heard a tiny voice say, Bear, this is not true because I am the faster, I am faster than you. Turtle said it again. Bear, I am faster and can prove it too. I will race you to the other side of the lake and back just to show you that I am faster than you. Bear did not like being challenged and he was angry. Quite frankly, he said, come out here and let's race with a tone that was very cranky. Turtle said, I am a water animal and swimming is what I do best. I can swim much faster than you can run. It is really not much of a test. You run to the other side of the lake and back and I will swim. I will swim across the lake and reappear here, the same place the race is about to begin. By this time, all the forest animals were aware. They had all gathered around to see if there would be a race between turtle and bear. Bear did not like turtle claiming he was that he was faster in front of this crowd. And once again, he started getting loud. Bear growled. You must think that I am stupid and that doesn't sound fun. You can just dive under the ice and then pop up in the same spot again to declare you've won. I am going to ask Mr. Elk to stomp holes in the ice every few feet. You must swim and surface at each hole as I must make certain that you do not cheat. Turtle said, while Mr. Elk punches holes, I'll rest underwater for a few minutes and then I will be ready to go. 
while Turtle dove into his hole to rest below. Bear stretched, exercised, and began to gloat. He said, the chance of Turtle beating me is very remote. There goes Turtle under the water. It was not long until Mr. Elk had stomped holes into the ice. They were spaced evenly and looked quite nice. Just then, Turtle's head popped up through his hole. He said, okay, Bear, I'm ready to go. Got all these holes. Fox was chosen to be the starter and the judge and the judge of the race. He had no reason to be sly in this case. Fox drew a starting line in the snow. Turtle and Bear stood behind that line and Fox said, Go! Turtle dove under the water and Bear began running leisurely, kind of slow. Bear spotted along, uh, trotted along, waving at the crowd, and chanted to the spectators, I am the fastest in his usual manner, obnox obnoxious and loud. While Bear was busy waving and bragging, a head popped out up from the second hole. Bear and the other animals could see a turtle's snout and hear a tiny voice call out, Bear, you are behind, I see. I didn't know how easy this was going to be. Bear stopped waving and began running a little faster. He thought to himself, if I don't win this race, that would be a disaster. While Bear was trotting along, a turtle's head popped up to the next at the next hole, and the turtle taunted Bear by calling out. There he is. Come on, Bear! Catch up with me! I don't know how, I didn't know how easy this was going to be. Now, Bear knew he had to run. There was a race that must be won. And losing to a little green water turtle would be no fun. Do you think he's going to lose? Or you think the bear's going to turn it on? Tell your friends. Okay. By now, it appeared. Turtle had crossed the lake and getting further and further ahead. Bear ran so hard, his tongue was hanging out and, and his face had turned red. Just then, Turtle crawled out of his hole and crossed the finish line. It seemed that he had crossed that lake in record time. Bear was so humiliated, he didn't even finish the race. He dropped his head and went home to hide and save face. There he is. There's Turtle going to the finish line. 
When Bear got home, he was so exhausted and embarrassed that he didn't know what to do. He just went straight to bed and slept the winter through. To this day, that is why bears sleep all winter. While they may be big and strong, they just want to forget they lost a race to turtle and may not be the world's fastest sprinter. After the race was over and Bear went home, there was a big party for turtle. It was quite the feast. All the animals celebrated and, and congratulated Turtle for humbling Bear. He had been a boastful beast. Turtle then crawled back to the lake where he tapped on the ice and said, Okay, you can come out now, for goodness sake. Suddenly, look at all these heads. Up through the holes in the ice popped turtles, brothers, sisters, and other kin. They all looked so much alike, you would swear they were twins. He then stretched his neck out proudly and proclaimed, Thank you, Ken. That's like Ken folks. That's what happens when we work together. I knew we could win. Now, did you think Turtle was going to win? Did you think he was going to have his brothers and sisters and cousins and aunts and uncles all at each hole popping up? He didn't run, did he? He didn't swim. He stayed right there and finished. Mm -hmm, they all popped up. How many of you hit those pop things with a little hammer? It's a little game and you have a... a um, A, um, oh, what do you call those things? Groundhog that pops its head up and you pound it and you... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Well, that's what the turtles were doing. They were sticking their heads up, going back under, and let the next one. So they outsmarted the bear, didn't they? I want you to tell me what did you think was going to happen? And did it end the way you thought it was going to? Tell me why or why not? How many of you were surprised about all of his brothers and sisters and cousins? Uh-huh. I figured you were. I hope you. And then you can draw me a picture of a turtle or a bear. Bear might be napping. Okay. Tell me. And make sure you give this a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues so that they don't miss story time on Cindy's Corner. And if you send me an email and you would like a copy of this book, send me an email and it's Cindy's Corner 21 at gmail.com and I'll send you a book. I hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up, subscribe, and most important, give somebody a hug and tell them you love them. Even Bear, give them a Bear hug. <laughs>